Hi lovelies, thanks for stopping by. Here is Phoebe's Kitchen and I believe you're all doing great. Today I want to share with you how to make this delicious and fluffy ring donuts. The recipe is amazing so I hope you stay tuned to the end and be inspired. Don't forget to like, share, comment on the video as always to support your girl and I will forever be grateful. Also remember to recommend this channel to families and friends who may like my recipes. If it's your first time here, I hope you'll be inspired to join this amazing family. Now check this out. So soft, so fluffy, and the taste in there, lovelies, will blow your mind. Ooh, you need to give this a try. Without further ado, lovelies, let's begin. In a bowl, I'm adding my all-purpose flour. Next, I'm adding my milk powder and I'll show you how to make your own milk powder at home. So I'll leave the link in the description box below, okay? Next, I'm adding salt to taste and now sugar. I'm going ahead to grate nutmeg for flavor. Alright, you can as well use cinnamon powder, it's all fine. Now, I'm mixing everything together until well combined. After that, I'll go ahead and add my salted butter, okay? And again, I'll use my hand to mix everything together until well combined. After that, I'll create something like a well in the middle and I'll add the rest of my ingredients. And now I'm adding my fresh whole milk. Next, I'll add my yeast. Next, my vanilla extract. Okay, for flavor. And next, I'll mix everything together until a dough is formed. And not forgetting my egg. Here we go. Beautiful. Continue to mix until a dough is formed yeah this smells good already oh yeah i love the texture of the dough so I'll then stop here and add flour to the work surface just like so beautiful and then i'll go ahead and knead to activate the gluten in it okay lovely if it's your first time stumbling on my channel hey you are warmly welcome I'd love to have you here so kindly do your girl a favor by subscribing to this channel to enjoy more of my recipes okay don't forget to also smash on the bell button to receive updates from me whenever I upload new videos always if you want to be sure that the gluten is activated then use your finger to press the door down if it bounces back or resists you that means you are all set for the next step Okay, so lovelies, now I'm covering my dough up with my cling foam and after that, leave it in a warm area to double or triple up, okay? That's it. 45 minutes later, lovelies, we are back with our dough and it's now time to bring it out of the bowl and continue with the next step, yeah? Beautiful. Our dough didn't rise that much, but it's all fine because of time factor, yeah? But if you have time, let it rise some more, okay? It's now time to roll on our dough to get the rice width and also to smoothen both the front and back nicely, okay? One side is all smooth, so let's gently turn it over this way and make this side also smooth, yeah? So far, I love the thickness of the dough. So I'll just go ahead and start using my donut cutter to cut out the shapes here. Yeah? But if you do not have the donut cutter, you can always use any other tool to do this. So keep watching and I'll show you one other way that you can use to cut the dough without donut cutter. Okay, here I have my cup. Simple as that. Beautiful. And then use your bottle lid to make the hole. It's that simple and easy. Beautiful. So lovelies, I'll go ahead and cut out all the shapes and now I'll bring the shapes out. Once I'm done, I'll then bring all the dough together again, mold them into a round shape, roll them over like the first time and I'll cut out the shapes. Keep on repeating yourself until all the dough is done cutting out. Okay? Beautiful. So here we are, all done. I'll cover them up for about 10 minutes for them to rise. 
and oh yeah they've now risen properly and i'm loving everything so far it's now time to fry them so in a frying pan i'm adding my olive oil you can use any oil of your choice once the oil is heated lovely i'll then go ahead and add the do not one after the other just like so and i'll go ahead and fry until nice and golden since i want them soft and fluffy i'm turning them over after two minutes and here you can see they are beautiful they are nice i'm taking them out of the oil before they turn crispy <laughs> and i do not want my donuts crispy okay so lovelies this is beautiful color and it's an amazing recipe and it's indeed a must try one don't forget to give it a try and thank me later continue frying until all the donuts are done okay beautiful so this is how i simply make my homemade soft and fluffy donuts i'll leave the list of all the ingredients and their measurements in the description box check it out for your own convenience give it a try and thank me later okay to support your girl please don't forget to like don't forget to share for others to see and also don't forget to comment for me to know your thoughts about this recipe and always remember to recommend this channel to families and friends who may like my recipes if it's your first time here i hope you've been inspired enough to join this amazing family and i'm so sure you will love it here lovely that's it and i hope you've been inspired to elevate the sweetness you can as well dab or dip them in any sweetener of your choice but i use caster sugar and here we go beautiful 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 for more of my videos lovelies follow your girl on instagram like and follow my facebook page follow me as well on tiktok and twitter for more updates beautiful now check this out isn't this fluffy isn't this amazing Ooh. I love this. Thanks for watching. See you all again in my next video. Until then, stay blessed and stay safe. To do, peace out.